Hello. Today in this video, we are going to be learning how to make obstacles such that the sprite cannot cross it. I'll show you an example to begin with. As you notice, the sprite cannot cross this obstacle, nor this. He also gets a reward if he completes the maze. So now, let's make a new window. Go to the control section and drag the when click block to the surface. After that, drag the forever block and clip it right under the flag click block. Then, drag the if block and put it in the forever block. Duplicate that three more times. Then, go to the sensing part and drag the key space press block to each four of the if sections. Change the values to up, down, right, or left. Next, go to motion. Drag the change x by 10 block to both right key, right key pressed and left key pressed. Change the value to whatever number you want. In this case, I'm doing 5 and negative 5. Then, drag the change y by 10 block to both the key up arrow pressed and the key down arrow pressed. Change the values to whatever you want. I'm going to do 5 and negative 5 again. So now you can see that the sprite is moving. Next, we have to make the obstacles. So click on Paint New Sprite and make a rectangle. Place it so that the, the scratch cat is a bit blocked but has space. Also make sure that the scratch cat has space to get through. If, if he doesn't, you can resize it. After that, duplicate the rectangle. Make sure that the scratch cat can get through this one. After that, paint a new sprite. Make a rectangle and then make another rectangle. And drag that one to the spot. Then import a sprite from the library and select Cheesy Puffs. Resize the Cheesy Puffs to how much it'll fit through. Now it's time to make the sprites. So go to control and drag the if block to inside one of the if blocks. Do the same with the other three. After that, go to the sensing section. Drag the touching color to the if to one of the if blocks. Do it with the other three. Change the color to match the obstacle color. In this case, the obstacle color is black. Of course, you can make the color whatever you want, as long as it matches the obstacle color. Now, let's go to the motion section. Drag the change x by 10 block to both the right arrow and the left arrow part. 
And be sure to place it inside the second if block in both. Now change the, in the right arrow one, change the X to the opposite number. In this case, the original number is five, so change it to negative five. For the left arrow, mine is neg mine my regular one is negative five, so I'm going to change the new one to five. Now drag the change y by ten block to both other. Change the value to the opposite, like I said earlier. We're almost done. But let's preview how much we've done. As you can see, the scratch cat cannot go past this. If your scratch cat can, then just rewind a bit to see if you made any mistake. Now the last thing we need to do is we need to put some scripts into the cheesy puffs. So go back to the control section and drag the if block to right under the fourth if block. Go back to sensing section and drag the touching blank block. Set the value to whatever sprite the cheesy puffs is. In this case, sprite five. Then go to looks and drag the say hello for two seconds block. Change the text to saying whatever you want. In this case, I'm going to do one. Make sure that it says it for two seconds. Lastly, go to the control section and drag the stop all to right under the say for two seconds. Now you're done. Let's see how we've done. And be sure to every time drag the scratch cat to the beginning. But if you don't want to do it, there's another alternative. Drag the go to blank x blank y blank block and put it right between the one flag click block and the forever block. Make sure that you drag it while your scratch cat is at the beginning. Now, let's see our cat in action. So this cat cannot go past the boundaries, the obstacles. Yes, he got the cheesy puffs. And as you can see, he always goes back to the beginning. So thanks for watching my video and have a great time.